Wagwa, well, my beautiful people, I'm coming at you again with another tutorial. And this was requested a long time ago. But ain't no better time than the right time, and the right time is now. This is how you play Right Time by the Mighty Diamonds. Grab your guitars. Let's go. Okay, my people, so we're going to make this quick, quick, it's easy, you know, it was, this, this song was back in the 70s, I think, I wasn't born that time, but yeah, quick and easy, two card, alright, so we have two cards, we have um, a stock line that I I hear a lot of um, guitarists use um, when they go live with it, and um, yeah, just a little bit of um, wah pedal, you know, and, and you're good. All right, so let's start with the um. Let's start with the cards. All right, the cards is playing. So it's a D to an E minor. Or if you want to use E minor seven. But you know what? Use the E. E minor. My bad. Not E minor seven. Use the E. Use the ah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm making a lot of mistakes already. Um, use a D major to the. E minor. Alright? So here we go. So if you want to form that D major, you want to come all the way up here to the fifth fret and bar the whole fifth fret with the pointer finger. Place that ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string of the seventh fret. And that right there is your D major. Alright? So let's move on to the E minor, which is a two. So bar the whole seventh fret with the pointer finger. Middle finger on the second string, 8th fret, pinky finger on the 3rd string, 9th fret, ring finger on the 4th string, 9th fret. So when the right time comes, so I'm going to go off the murder, da 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 You know, the only thing you use is a little bit of Probably, I think, I, I'm not sure if it's even the guitarist is doing it, but. You know? Alright, I would like to show you the wah pedal, but for now, it's quite easy. Just make sure the wah pedal is all the way back first, and then, once you go down with the, the arm, the hand, strike down on the first string. You go down. All right, down with the wah pedal. When you're gonna hit the next one, come when you go back. That's when you come up. All right, so it's like this, straight to the point. Then down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. All right, so um, yeah. So what I use right there is a, you know, I wanna bar you, but it's basically you're basically using like a pentatonic. Let's consider it as the B minor pentatonic. Let's say that. All right, so you wanna bar the whole seventh fret again. So seven. So if it's on the tenth fret, you lift. That finger, so from the 10 to the 7, 10 to the 7, then 9 to the 7, then 9, okay? Then 
then you repeat on that nine. All right? So here we go again. I'm going to zoom all the way in, but I'm going to go slow. So, all right. Down. Then. Hope you got that. Again. Let's use a pinky finger. My bad. So you get again one more time. Very slow this time. Then remember to alternate the picking. All right, that's basically it for that little part. Now, how you strum with this? It's a and it's the same with the wah pedal goes in the same direction as the hand. All right, so. Now you can choose if you want to play. You can add a little bit of that and then jump back to the wall. Or you can mix it. You know, whatever. Just don't do too much. You got to make sure that it's, you know, make it reggae. Not all over the place. Cool. So, let's talk about a little stock line that you can use that a lot of arm guitarists use when they go live. Stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. So you're going to play the exact thing, especially for this song, all right? All right? Again, if you do not know how to strum or play reggae, the stock lines and anything or anything like that, I'm going to leave a link to a video in the description that will take care of all that. I did all that, so you're safe. All right, so, so I'm playing fifth fret, fifth string, then sixth string. So, two, three, four, and two. One, two, three, four on the fifth string, then two on the sixth string. Back to the fifth string you're gonna play two on that so one two three four one two three four uh, one two three four one two one two all right you want to move up here to the seventh fret fifth string one two three then to the sixth string one two back to the fifth string so you got this then now to just add a little flavor to it yeah majority of the time when he comes back he play one on that all right All right, you can alternate again slower. And that's basically how you play the song. All right, so. Here's an example. Let's move 
after this coming. You can mix it up, you can do a lot of stuff with it, you know. Just feel it and not overdo it. Alright, keep it steady. It's reggae. Alright? Yeah, man, and that is how you play Right Time by the Mighty Diamonds. Again, all that I ask for you folks is to hit the thumbs up button as soon as you see the, the videos. In fact, remember to subscribe. After you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all so whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. As soon as you see that video, click on it, click like, watch it. Please stick with the ads. Please stick with the ads. Please understand. All right? Remember, keep strumming, keep practicing. Blessed love. Peace out. See you next time.